completed this is code 9 in the previous video we have created a simple console as which retrieves data from the database using SQL JDBC driver in this video we will be creating this login application let's start I have created another project named as login. Let's add some forms in it. Go to other. If you don't see this option, you have to install Window Builder tool for your Eclipse. Another other and add another form. Name it as name. Let's add some control in login form. Go to design. Expand it. Add absolute layout. Add a label. Username. Get a field. Copy this label, paste, change its text to password. For password, we are using the password field. Now we need a button. for error we are done with this form now add some control in main push to design view add absolute layout I am adding just simple a label which shows a text after login. So now write code for login. Double click on login button to add action listener. First hide this label initially. So this label cannot be seen on form startup it is only visible when error occurs Set. what is its name Will equal to false and also we need to declare it as global variable so we can use in our action listener of login button also we need to declare our login frame as a static variable so we can close it in our action listener As you can see, we have to write this code for connection. We don't want to write this code again and again where we need to connect to SQL. Instead of this, we can create a class and a function which return the connection. Let's do this. copy some code if you have not watched my previous video i recommend you to watch my previous video and understand what this code do add a constructor to this class and 
declare all the variable in the constructor copy the jdbc ui is very important now let's add a function which return connection variable public connection get connect copy connection code I again recommend you to watch my first video finally return connection In our action listener, create object of connection class. Declare another our connection variable in this class also. initialize it connection from my connection class now let's write query select all from user where user ID equal to question mark and password equal to question mark by question mark this is the method in Java to pass parameter in query now let's write prepared statement Prepare statement pass the query value. Import the package. Surround with try catch. Now initialize the parameter of the query. This parameter are string we need to set a string. What is the user ID? User ID is the text which we write in the text for username. Copy. Next parameter is password. Password field. Now execute query and set the result in result set variable. Import the package from the try catch. Oh, I 
declare an integer variable integer i equal to 0 while result set has row increment i by 1 now check if username is correct if i equal to 1 so main main equal main main is our form which is we have to show after login m dot set visible equal to true and this frame dot dispose to close it else our uh, error label will be shown let's save it and run it this is we have mark abc123 at this stage this login is not cache sensitive if i write mark m capital so abc123 we can log in if we want to make it cache sensitive we have to make some changes Oh, I forgot to mention one step for connecting SQL server. Let me show you first these data steps. Go to build path. We have to add a jar file of JDBC driver. Actually, I have add, already added. It. Add external jar. Select SQL JDBC dot jar. You can download it from the internet. This is very important part to connect SQL Server to Java. Now let's make it case sensitive. Declare two variable string underscore user equal empty string string underscore part equal empty string save the retrieve username or pass and password in this variable underscore user equal r a dot get string column name user underscore id copy column name is password save it in password variable now let's change if condition if underscore user dot equals username dot get text and operator underscore pass dot equals password field dot get it if I write mark and capital abc say one two three password then I have this error invalid username or password if we write m phone then we successfully log in this is it for this video in the next video we will do something 
new with sql server and java thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share comment and subscribe to my channel goodbye